I recently read about how artificial intelligence is a very threat to the future of our human race. I've been thinking about how technology is racing fast, faster than we can keep up with it. And our culture is being bombarded with more and more sensations, more and more stimulants keeping us busy, keeping us occupied, keeping us distracted. More and more people wearing earbuds and things in their ears that, that keep them from hearing each other, somebody just speaking to them close by. They're, they're hearing something on a Wi-Fi, and when somebody speaks nearby, they're oblivious to what's being said. We're missing the things that are closest to us, the, the, not the virtual world that we're being bombarded with, but the real world is becoming more and more distant, more difficult to see and pay attention to. This is why the essential nature of the church, of religion, is so crucial at this time in our history. For it is in, in the faith, that the, the church, where we have to physically be together, to sing together, not to be entertained or to have music presented to us, but to make our own music to hear somebody read a story from scripture, to reflect on these things live and in person, to pray with people who are neighbors with us. Whether we agree or disagree with them, we at least join together in prayer and pray for each other. Probably no more important time in history has the church been important. And we're are so distracted and even in the church by the various technologies and politics and issues that are distracting us. Our focus needs to be on God. Our focus needs to be understanding that God is speaking to us in the people, the live people, the world in which we live that is around us. We need to be aware that God is speaking to us in those people who are actually living with us, the people we can touch, the world we can touch and see and feel, to pay attention to the anthills that are on the ground beneath us, the flowers that are blooming on this day and, and what, what is to come, paying attention to what we eat, and, and eating together, not just isolated in our rooms with a phone on or a TV. When I visited Haiti, it became very evident to me that it was a country where electricity was an option, but faith was essential. And coming back home, I realized that it is opposite here. Electricity is essential, but faith is the option in all the divisions that are going on in our time right now. The very presence of God, the presence of God's spirit, the, the presence of God in the midst of each other, that we each carry a piece of God's truth within us and we need to share it with each other. We need to see the power of God emerging around us. Not just be distracted. There is much to be gained financially from people when they distract us and keep us from each other, they divide us from each other. Let us gather together with those we agree and disagree with, that look like us and don't look like us, and pray together, see each other, get to know each other, and discover the power of God in our midst, not just the power of AI or the power of technology, we are in a crucial time now, a time in which faith is probably more important than any other. We're gathering together physically is more important than ever. Being with each other, listening, trusting. May God's blessings be with you this day and all those whom you love. Amen.